Um, Michael, so you look at this again from the sort of the investor side. So you're the money here. And you've had a number of different ideas about how this might evolve. You've had Brian, who represents a sort of a, a, a fintech business, talking about actually not disruption but symbiosis. What do you invest in? What's investable? And, and what what are your priorities? <coughs> I think if I would say we have a secret clue and we know where to invest, if somebody tells you that, he's he's wrong. Uh, maybe Warren Buffett or. Nobody else. Uh, investors are up to a very significant degree opportunistic and pragmatic, and they enrich their opportunism, which is positive. It's positive opportunism, uh, and they enrich that, of course, with um, as we do it with some kind of rational rationality. When you look at certain areas and say those areas are going to develop probably more. Uh, there is more volume in these areas. These areas are not yet there technologically. These are rational additions to the picture, but overall investing is a relatively reactive, pragmatic, opportunistic um, activity, uh, at least in, in, in most of the cases. I think when it comes up to the question, <coughs> disruption, non-disruption, I think it's all over. There is businesses that are in immense disruptive and they are very very value creative uh, but there is a lot of businesses that are also non-disruptive and still very very value creative also in fintech let me give an example we, not just to uh, seem as somebody who wants to disrupt banks we, we invested into a fintech company that hands out loans uh, up to fifty thousand uh, dollars roundabout to small companies. Those companies would not get these loans at any financial institutions today. Or they would have to go through an unbelievable process and then it's already too late. Uh, and for these companies, these loans are uh, of extreme um, importance. They create work, they maintain uh, jobs. Uh, and um, the company that we invested in, it's called Iwaka, it is able to hand out these loans and to make profit in general on the business because the innovative piece in there is the algorithms that sort out for what company you can give loans and for what you shouldn't give them because the risk of not having a, a of the loan not performing is too high. So that is it's absolutely not disruptive. It is completely complementary. It serves a desire of the economy that nobody else could serve before, it can only be served by an efficient algorithm, which is the piece of innovation. Uh, so um, there is a lot of value created by that too. It's not just disruption. Yeah, I think it's all over the place. Um, the core is that you have really something that is innovative, whether it is innovative for the customer or whether, the, whether it is innovative uh, from the production side or from the service offering side. 